Hey guys, so it is actually Thursday and I'm in the garage. We have the sea do in the garage for now. Um, oh yeah, back there, that's the target practice, like for shooting, target practice. That's what those little discs are. And then all my like flags, like garden flags. But anyway, um, today's Brian's birthday and his mom and her husband just left. They came over to uh, bring him a t-shirt that from Florida. They went, that's where they went to their, for their honeymoon and a card. And then we just talked for a little bit, but now I'm kind of like in a little bit more of a crunch time. So, um, well, not because of them, just because of me. I like didn't start packing soon enough. So now I'm like, everything's a mess. I've I've got like a list going trying to think of everything I need to pack and everything and so I came out here to get our life jackets so that I just have them you know just getting ready but anyway I just wanted to start the vlog off for the week and uh, we'll be sharing the lake trip with you we're going to Warsaw Missouri um, to stay at a place called Starrett Creek and um, it's got like a motel and a campground and stuff like that so it looks from the pictures like it's gonna be very rustic which is kind of Brian and I really like that um, you know when we go to Vegas or somewhere it's fun to stay in a fancy hotel and stuff but we like the rustic stuff you know um, so we'll see the cat I don't know if you can hear him but he's crying like a big old baby but anyway, because I'm in the garage. But anyway, I'm going to go in and keep on packing. I've got like the clothes I want to take all piled up. Got some pajamas. And like a whole nother stack of stuff over here. I've got Target bags because that's what I'm going to put my shoes in. But yeah, that's a swimming suit that I bought to wear underneath the wetsuit. I wanted something that doesn't have like any buckles or anything on it so Ugh. toiletries just all this stuff I got to get it all organized it into a bag are you guarding my shoes Jenko kitty kitty yeah he I think he knows like when we're packing and getting ready to go somewhere because he gets really clingy and um, also really he gets the zoomies a lot and stuff the kids do a really good job of loving on him, so don't feel sorry for him. He's a brat. Okay, all packed up. So I've got all my clothes and all my shoes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But also, like, the GoPro stuff. And I've got more than just my, my personal clothes and everything. But so this is all packed up and now I'm working on getting like sunscreen and things like that all together in something else. So I have this like little short Rubbermaid container and I'm putting like sunscreen and our new cups that Brian bought us, coffee, Splenda, dry bags, just all kinds of different games to play in the evenings just getting this all loaded up okay we're on the road now hi we left about yeah about 30 minutes later than what we had intended to but we don't have a schedule yeah not a big deal I ain't got nowhere to be till Tuesday yeah so got sea dew behind us we're all packed up and what is it we thought like an hour and a half it's, it's 88 miles instead of an hour and a half basically right on the dot. So, not too far. Just wouldn't be a normal day anymore without rain. It's like rained every freaking day for like 11 days now.
So we're here. There's the lake. Brian just went, you check in at the marina. So he just went to check us in and then we'll be going up to the motel. But there's the lake. I'm in a parking lot right now. <laughs> The motel, I can see from here, it's just a really small one, and it's not like lakefront, you know, like there's the lake and the motel's up there. I don't even think we'll be able to see it from the room. I can't tell. You might be able to, but that's fine because we're going to be on it with the sea dew. <clears throat> Probably not today though because there's another like actual thunderstorm on the way so probably after we get checked in and get unloaded and stuff we'll probably go down to Walmart and get some snacks and stuff which Walmart's really close so but yeah all this rain but after today it's supposed to dry out at least the rest of the time we're here but it is going to cool off so it's not going to be very warm but I'm all right with that so I'm just so ready for the rain to be done. I'm so tired of rain. I wish we could send it to the places that need it. Okay, it is definitely <laughs> rustic. <laughs> but, Brian, we can see the lake, though, right here from the window. So, here's the little room. Got a TV up there. Got a handsome hubby right there. Mm -hmm. And then here's the little kitchenette. <laughs> this paneling. There's like a... Mini fridge. Yeah, what is that thing next to it? Probably just holds pans. Oh, okay. Or something. And then here's the bathroom. It is definitely <laughs> old. Which is perfectly fine with us because we're here for the water. Yeah, it's 75 bucks a night. It's a little lake place. Look, but look, right outside. Here's where you park your stuff. That's what's cool. It's old school, yeah. man. There's the sea dew <laughs> in the truck right there. The truck. Back it right up to your door. So, yeah. There's our air conditioner. There you go. Not much. <laughs> Straightforward. But, but enough. It is all covered and parked, and then we'll be getting it out tomorrow. And then there's our lake view. So we're in downtown Warsaw now. We came over here because we were going to try to find somewhere to eat dinner, because it's already almost 6 o'clock. Um, and we just stumbled across this area. I'll show you. We're going to get out and walk around a little bit, but it's not Truman Lake. It's the river in Warsaw. Brian's looking, trying it's, to... It's the river that comes off the back of... The, it, this is the Osage River then, I think. Okay, so he was going to see, see if we could figure out what river it was. Um, yeah, it's the Osage the River. Osage River. So this so. is the Osage River, like... When we're, if you guys have been watching the videos for a while, so when we're down at the Ozarks, the Osage River actually filled this lake, and then this lake actually is up ahead of the Lake of the Ozarks. So the Osage River comes in, fills up the Truman Reservoir, then this is where it comes out, and it leads down to the Lake of the Ozarks, fills it up, and then when we show you the backside of Bagnell Dam, that's the Osage River again. And I'll have to say, the backside of uh, Truman Reservoir the Osage River is much more pleasant to look at than the backside of the Ozarks. <laughs> this is this is this is nice looking. The Ozarks is more just muddy on so the backside. Yeah, we're just gonna look at it real quick. And but they've got a spot where you can launch your uh, your watercrafts out here too. So if you wanted to go up and down the Osage River, you you know you can launch it right here and go up and down the Osage River as well. See, here's there's like right where we parked. <laughs> there's. The river, and then there's like a walking area. And there's a peninsula that comes out. You can see, like, see, there's like boat docks over here. Show them over there to that side. It's like a little. Yeah, there's we're walking like, out on a peninsula. And yeah, that's like downtown. We saw there. We saw a couple of restaurants when we were going by. It's real old town, real old school America. It's awesome.
Oh, a dog, I think a dog must have left his tennis ball. Man, it's nice now. You remember how windy it was? Look at that. Yeah. The, the it is, it is a little ball. humid, but it's not bad. Pretty. Yeah, Look at this ram. Really... Man, that's steep. No. That is, oh, I was going to say, that's not a ram. <laughs> Can't trick me that easily, Mr. Road. Yeah, this is pretty here. It winds. Ew. Ew. That's nature, man. They work together and they both get a piece. I don't even want to see what it is. These are vultures. <laughs> Something is dead down there, and they're having a feast. Hopefully it's just fish. <laughs> Probably just a big old carp or something. I'm not even gonna look. Are you missing? Yeah, it's a fish. Like the one's gonna hang back. They're, they're scared of Brian. <laughs> But yeah, it's a ginormous fish. What's left of it down there? Oh, Brian, it is a paddlefish. What? It is a paddlefish. How's that? I don't know if you guys can tell, but well, that was a first for Brian and I. So <laughs> this is so pretty. That's like a fishing dock over there. Look, Look Brian, there. there's like a um for the birds. Well, the trail, actually, there's a walking trail on the other side of this peninsula. This is all kinds of walking trails. I think trails it goes all there. the way around. Oh, and yeah. then look, there's like an RV park down there. Mm -hmm. Man, this is nice, man. I should have been coming down to Warsaw Stream and Reservoir before now. It's so The river's really calm. I'd go on this river. Look, there's some benches. Mm -hmm. Several. Several benches around here. morning so today's Friday and we're driving over to have breakfast there's like a little restaurant if it was warmer we would probably walk over there and also a little bit less <laughs> wet um, the rain is supposed to be done the whole west, rest of the weekend but it's not going to be very warm no so, it's cool yeah. it's only supposed to get to like 59 today with 20 yeah. mile an hour wind so but we're still gonna we're attempt, still gonna have fun yeah we're, we've got our wetsuits and so we're hoping between wetsuits and life jackets and hats 
that we'll be able to stay. At least get out there for a little bit today. Yeah. Tomorrow the wind's supposed to die down. Yeah. But it's the trifecta of nasty weather today. You have cloudy weather, you have windy weather, and you have cool temps. So it's like, yeah, at least by tomorrow the sun will come out and the wind will die down so yeah. then it's just a little cooler and we'll make it work and it's supposed to warm up the next couple days so but we've got they like left us a coupon for free breakfast yeah we breakfast. get free breakfast at little papa joe's yeah little papa joe's yeah see we just left and there's people the, here yeah but it's real close it's right here in the same yeah. complex how about them sunsets that sunset last night oh my gosh oh my God, that was, was the best beautiful. it started out really awesome really and bumpy. only actually got better so this morning we're gonna go have some breakfast. Well, we had breakfast, it was really good. Then we went down to the marina and got some ice and just looked around in their marina. And I don't know if you can see it on my glasses, but it's sprinkling pretty good for a day that it's not supposed to rain. And so it is really, really windy and it's really chilly. So now we're gonna go to, they have like a visitor center like over by the dam. And so we're gonna go check that out and do some indoor things. And then hopefully it'll get a little warmer. If it does, we'll take the sea dew out. If it doesn't, we're probably gonna wait till tomorrow, but we still have plenty of time. And yeah, now we're just gonna go see what we can find and enjoy our day. on the water and give them a view of that. between the prairie and scenic Ozark Hills in the heart of our state. This U.S. Army Corps of Engineers project has become one of Missouri's most popular recreational areas.
southern part of the so you see there's, there's not any, you don't see any houses on the shoreline. show you something. Look right down here. Come here. Look, look right through here at this boat and you think those waves don't look. There's some Finland. I wonder if they burn wood here. They must burn wood because probably in the winter. Go in and sing this song. <laughs> The old school building. <laughs> this is really neat. Just this whole area over here. I wish you could actually go inside the different buildings. We're still at the visitor center. This is all still part of the visitor center. Yeah, it's too bad it's freezing cold. I'm going to peek in the window over here. Let's see if there's anything inside. Actually, there is. What? It's like a little bedroom. Well, I don't know if you guys can see through me. What is it? It's like a little bedroom. You can't go in though. It's like a like a little recreation. Yeah, you can't see. Too bad the wind the curtains weren't at least open so you could look inside. I bet you maybe you can tour this at different times. Yeah, they're it's all locked up, but it would have been neat. Look at this little porch back here. Yeah. But see hey, that this one is from the wind. Like the the area that um, had the little bedroom in it, you could see like where there were ropes in front of it. Like I bet mm -hmm. at some other time. This you, is actually really nice. You probably could look inside all these buildings.
these ones back here. Are so little there's small. the visitor center we were just at, and we were coming over on this side because the dam is up there. We were going to see if we could see the water, and then we came across some geese with babies. Yes, there's all the geese with their babies. These ones over to the far left are smaller babies. These ones get a little bit more medium, and the ones in the distance are about the same. So, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe adolescents. These ones over here, though, these ones on the far left here, they're they're littler. But yeah, great kick off the summer, guys. See the fishermen down there with their hoodies pulled up and their hoods. Yeah, I don't blame them. It's uh, 57 degrees, a balmy 57 with 20 mile an hour winds. Thanks, summer. There's this side of the dam. We wanted to come over to see if they had the spillway open, but it doesn't look like they do. It looks like it's maybe at a trickle. Huh? Okay, now we're headed to Truman State Park and Marina to kind of go check that area out. That's somewhere we can actually even get to by sea -Doo, but we're... We'll be there tomorrow on sea -Doo. I yeah. don't care if it's snowing outside tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting on my sea -Doo, and it just may be my last day. And if you got to go, it's probably a good way to go with a smile on your face, freezing to death on Truman Lake. <laughs> it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow, but we just... Uh, well, you saw the trail we went walking on, and then we stopped at the area where we were looking at the other side of the dam and just kind of watched... Um, like herons the most herons I've ever seen in my life. Stuff. Yeah, yeah they there just, a whole bunch there were of them. tons of them. It's almost reminded me of watching the pelicans down yeah, in, Florida, in Florida at the docks just catching fish. And we see fish. herons in the we Ozarks, all over. but we'll we see, see like them one or two view, at a time. But yeah, you don't, I've never like seen seen like, yeah, 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 two dozen all hanging out on the dock. They yeah. know where the fish are for sure. So, Not dumb. Now we're just going to keep enjoying the lake and what it has to offer just you know history lesson really <laughs> yeah. you know learning about it and everything else something you probably wouldn't have done on any other nice weekend so. yeah that's so what we were talking about we would have probably never thought to go to the visitor center like if it would have been warm this whole time and we'd have been out on the lake we would have missed out on that so it's just kind of like a happy just making a yeah so making make a positive the best of out it. of a negative yeah. so so that's where we're gonna go Over at the Truman State Park, we were pricing, seeing if they, what kind of gas they had and stuff. And uh, the temperature is dropping more. <laughs> it's getting like really cold. The water's not as rough right here, babe. Uh -huh. The water's not bad right here. Well, look at it out there. It's yeah, getting a little. He, he was also telling me though that this is the better part of the lake for where it's not as stumpy and stuff. We're just cruising it. there so it is Saturday and right now we're just killing some time because it's like started out in the 40s <laughs> this morning and we went and had breakfast at that same little restaurant that's at Starrett Creek the area we're staying and now we're at Casey's getting some drinks and then we're gonna go down to Walmart and I don't even remember why now or something we needed. Anyway, we're just killing some time until it warms up a little bit so then we can get out on the sea dew because it's supposed to get up to 61 today and it's still not going to be very sunny but we got our wetsuits so today is at least warmer than yesterday because yesterday yesterday the wind was what was the worst and today that's not so bad so hopefully later in this vlog you will see us on a sea dew. Hey guys, so we're out on the lake. I did a C uh, GoPro clip. I'm not sure if it's going to be before this clip or after this clip, but I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, we're on the lake. It's a 
all around us. We keep like stopping so we can uh, just, we find these pockets of sunlight and so we kind of sit in the sun, listen to a <laughs> We're chasing music. the sunshine yeah. <laughs> on the sea dew. But we're having a really nice time. We stopped at a couple of marinas. One, we didn't get all out or off. <laughs> we just looked at the marina. And then another one, we went in. And I got a bag of Doritos and Brian got a little bag of sun chips. And we got teas and we sat and had a little snack. and. Brian's pulling up on the map now to see. Well, I would, but uh, we oh, have no cell phone up. reception. But Something it'll come up. If There's you go back markers. the way you came. Yeah, so we'll be all right. we're just. We're on the uh, the Grand River arm of Truman Lake now. I think about mile marker 13 or 14. Yeah, we got There's our wetsuits on. There's a big old rock on. bluff down there. These That's are some what, of the first houses yeah. we've seen over here, but they actually don't have lake access. Scenes. There's not like yeah. ramps and docks. There's, I mean, they can see the lake, good view, but we got our wetsuits on, and then I got my long sleeve bathing suit <laughs> underneath my wetsuit and the life jacket. And then Brian's got his, and then he's got a shirt over his wetsuit. I wear my sun shirt, like a sun shirt. But um, we're staying pretty warm. It's like when we get going, when we're going like real fast, thirty it's, plus. Yeah, like it's my a little legs cool on a little the chilly, area. Like the bottom parts of my bad, legs. But your body never gets yeah. cold. Yeah, and my face gets a little chilly. But like right now, I feel That's beautiful just right fine. Now. Perfect. But yeah, my battery just gave me the low battery warning. So probably because the phone keeps trying to pick up signal. But anyway, just wanted to check in. We are out on the sea dew. Yep, on Truman Reservoir, Harry S. Truman Lake. There is the building that we were in yesterday. And that's the dam. And now we're on the water. Yeah. In the water side. That's good. This is also actually the very first time we've used the GoPro. Yep. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. I gotta figure out how to get it on my phone and stuff, which I think I know how to do it. But it's waterproof. We've got it on a waterproof, like, what's this thing called? Like stick? Yeah, it's like a floating. Yeah, and it floats. Stick. So the stick's not necessarily waterproof, it floats. The GoPro is waterproof, but it'll sink unless you have something to float. Hey, there's people up there walking on the bottom. I didn't know you could go down there. Yeah, I saw some of them up there. I didn't realize that yesterday. We were on the inside. But when you do start going, just don't go too fast because I'm only going to be holding on with one hand. Okay. Man, it's really, I just love the peace and the quiet right now. I got my goggles on. They were good. I should have worn them the first time. The goggles really make a difference. You don't have all that wind on your eyes. Oh, jeez, you know what I did that I need to do? I got my freaking truck keys in my... Oh, yeah, put them up. Here comes a boat. When we're not going, these wetsuits, I'm like perfectly comfortable right now. But boy, when you start rolling 40 miles an hour, it gets chilly. The wetsuits are working pretty good though. No, the wetsuits keep me warm there. It's my legs, my anything that's exposed, your face, the rest of your face and stuff, but it's worth it. It's
is a mess. But I got the GoPro videos successfully onto my phone, but then I noticed the lens on this side had a fingerprint on it. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for. Um, so yeah, I've got two clips from the GoPro, but you might notice a little blur, like a little blurry spot, and that's because it had a fingerprint on it. <laughs> Darn it. But we're going to take some more um, video tomorrow. We have like, I have like a bunch of attachments. I got this kit from Amazon that um, had a whole bunch of stuff, plus the GoPro itself. I bought like a bundle pack, and so I've got like this, ugh, this clip. And I thought, well, maybe one of us could hook it to like our life jacket. I have a thing. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, it was Brian. He was bringing our life jackets in so I can hang them up. We've got our wetsuits hanging up. Those things worked really, really good because they, oh, and then the weather outside, it's like warm now. It started in the 40s and now it's like in the 70s. And so he's going right now to take the sea dew to Casey's. They have a gas, they have like gas stations on the water, but since there's a Casey's so close, you'll save $1.15 a gallon not buying it on the water. So he's just gonna go gas up at Casey's. It's on the trailer, so he's gonna take it and put gas in it. And so then we'll have a full tank again for tomorrow. And we still had, I mean, we're out for about three hours and we didn't use the full tank. I mean, we still had, it was just a little less than half, but tomorrow we want to go like even further and stuff because the weather's supposed to be nicer. So, um, yeah, you know, this place is very old, but it's clean. I mean, it's got, there's not a whole lot of room to put your stuff, so we, we have made a mess out of this, this room, just spreading all our stuff out and everything, but, you know, we're, we're having fun, and uh, the next door neighbors have a really, really friendly dog. Her name is Betty, and she's like a black lab, and we're thinking maybe that they named her Betty, because remember that song, Black Betty? We're thinking maybe that's from what it is, but the walls are pretty thin like we were, could hear the guy over there snoring but everybody seems like they're nice and there's like families at the campground I mean the only thing that we saw that was irritating was there was these little boys throwing rocks at the geese and that kind of I didn't care for that too much but you know, because where they were throwing rocks, there was like cars and stuff. But I don't know how good you guys can hear me because we've got the air conditioner on. We had it turned off, but when we got back, the room was pretty warm. But anyway, after Brian gets back, I think we might go for a walk. We're just going to get Subway for dinner because it's quick and easy and, um, and cheap. <laughs> and I want to go to the marina because they have this hat that I really liked that I keep thinking about. And I might buy it as long as it's twenty dollars or less I didn't price it so but anyway I'm gonna clean up a little bit from the mess we made this morning getting all our stuff ready get the life jackets hung up and stuff and um, what time is it now it's like 520 so maybe we'll see another really pretty sunset last night it was nothing but that first one oh my god that was that was beautiful so anyway another update for you so today is Sunday, and we just got done eating breakfast at the Rusty Skillet. It's really good. Yeah, down here in um, downtown Warsaw. And so now we're back over. This is actually the third time, I think. We've yeah, this over, is like their yeah, little riverfront park. The one I, I, I showed like you us walking the first day. Was it the first day we mm -hmm. were here? That little river Where area. Like so now we're over here just sitting, looking just at Just sitting the, and chilling. We're getting ready to go back. Let our food process a little bit before we head out on the sea dew. Because mm -hmm. that breakfast was good, but I ate too much. <laughs> I'm not a big breakfast eater normally, so. But yeah, we got, um, it was really good. And then today mm -hmm. started off really sunny. So it's nice and sunny. It's supposed to get beautiful out. warmer than any of the other days. It's supposed to cloud up later. Yeah, but these as long little as baby it's warmer, pontoons are cute as could be. I don't know why you call it a baby pontoon. Because look at it. It's only like 16 feet long <laughs> pontoon. It's like a baby pontoon. I'll show you guys. You need to show. 
just a little bitty guy. But yeah, it's really peaceful here. We check out tomorrow at 10, so Angie had this great idea, of, and I thought of too, it's like, because we want to maybe check out and then go ahead and put this dew on the water maybe for a little bit. And uh, they got a ramp right here, so I think what we're going to do is come down here and launch it right here on the uh, Osage River. Might as well get her on Truman and then also get her down here on the river, because this river is actually really wide and really nice right here. It goes way down. It's really pretty sweet. tell you guys today we're gonna try the GoPro out again making sure the lens is wiped down but Brian's gonna try it um, the kit that I bought it was only like 20 bucks on Amazon it's got tons of like attachments and different things well there's a wrist one and it goes really nice on your wrist velcros on there really good and stuff so we're gonna hook the GoPro to that and Brian's gonna do he's gonna be our cameraman today so um, That'll be fun. Yep. And then you'll get to see it like kind of from his view, you know, when he's, because yesterday he drove it the whole day. And I probably will some today, but he's going to be the cameraman. And of course, we don't video the entire time. I mean, it'd be kind of boring for you guys too. It's not boring for us, but, um, so yeah, get it all wiped off. So get a nice, clear picture. And the GoPro is really cool because, um, we were noticing the steadiness of it because we were bouncing quite a bit, but the camera kept things pretty steady. Um, I got the GoPro 9, so, but anyway, so when you see GoPro footage later, which is much safer than having the cell phone out on a Sea-Doo, um, Brian's going to be your cameraman. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Sitting outside of the motel. Just looking out on the lake, Brian's going to get gas in the truck, and then when he gets back, we're going to get all ready and suit up and go out on the sea dew. I'll show you my view. I'm kind of watching people with their boats and things like Alright guys, we are out here on Truman Lake with the GoPro, hopefully with no thumbprint. I've got it on my wrist, so if you keep seeing my hand in front of me, that's because it's on my wrist and that's what's in front of my wrist. But uh, we're out in this little cove over here, just having a good time. This is one of these little party, I wouldn't call it a party cove, I would actually even call it a family cove. And everybody's just coming in and having a good one, it's a beautiful day. so. We're going to turn this off for now, and then we're going to head on over to the dam, get some action footage. Actually, we'll just start the action footage right now. How's it look on the viewfinder, babe?
Hello everybody, it's Brian again. We are out on the lake with my wrist cam on the Sea Dew on Truman Reservoir. And we're getting some footage. This is the dam again. We have a little bit of this earlier, but I don't know if you can see. So like there's the observation deck. And then here is the dam over that way. My arm doesn't stretch, but anyway. I'm doing this. I don't know how the footage is going to turn out on the wrist cam when I'm actually driving because it seems to me like it's moving a lot. So if it is and it's terrible, I apologize. Otherwise, this is hopefully some good damn footage without a fingerprint. Um, I'm going to have my assistant Angie here come in and see if there's looks like there's a fingerprint. Angie, look, does it look like there's a fingerprint on that lens? Can you see? Oh, she. I don't see a fingerprint. No. Okay. All right. No fingerprints. But I did, here is. I did see the fingerprint. Here is a pontoon coming in quite, quite fast. I'm actually stayed several yards away from these fishermen. These guys like to fish up here by the dam, so I don't like to get too close and cause them a lot of wakes with their fishing. So that's where we're at. Here's this guy going way too fast to me, but it is what it is. Well, it's a girl actually. Well, either way. Uh, so we got some wakes coming. Here we go. See how the sea dew does over some wakes. It's going to be just fine, most likely. If anybody falls off, hopefully it's Angie <laughs> and not me. It's a very nice, gentle rocking. <laughs> yes, it's a very nice, gentle rocking. The dam's a hot spot, guys. People love the dam. I'm not a fisherman, but here, once again, look over that way. You can see they're letting water out because this reservoir is actually high. Normal pool is like 706. Um, right now it's running about seven, just under 720. Max maximum capacity is about 739. But yeah, those guys love hanging out. They're all just rode up. So when they're letting a lot of water out, there's a current. And it's, I guess that current's really good for fishing because they all love it. So I hope they're having them. They, there's some big fish in here. I've seen several pictures of really big fish. I've actually seen them jumping out of the, the water. The crappie in this lake, the crappie are, are massive. It's in spots. It's just crazy. All right. So that's more dam footage. Hopefully uh, you see a little bit better. I'm going to go get a little closer. We'll get another close-up shot of it. Okay. So here we are. We're uh, just over closer. Get a head's eye view of the close-up of the dam. Here's all those fishermen. They're, they're just loving it. They love fishing the dam, the current. It's always funny, I wonder, you know, some guy on one boat reels up this real giant fish. What are those guys next to him thinking? Are they are they really happy for him? Or are they thinking, damn it, should have been me. Needless to say, the waves are moving us away. My arm doesn't bend behind me all the way. Yeah, this lake is really nice. It's It's way more natural the lake of the ozarks as far as like housing or developed it's it's not developed on the shoreline like the lake of the ozarks so it's just a whole different experience really there's my assistant <laughs> i don't think it's back i don't think it comes all the way back here hey guys we're back you're gonna get the full experience with brian um this right here is the Truman State Park Marina. So it's the uh, the government, I guess. It's the Parks Department. Anyway, it's the county. State, I think it's maybe the state. Either way, this is a state-run marina, which is really nice. Me and Angie went here um, the first day we got down here. It was raining and not good. We went in on land. There's a ton of geese over there. Uh -huh. A bunch of baby geese out right now. And the current turns us all the way. The current turns us. That's all right. We'll turn back. It looks like there's a beach over there. And believe it or not, even though the water temp, what is the water temp right now? 68. 68. Like so it's pretty chilly still. But there's people out there. You know kids. Kids will swim in anything. I think kids would swim in ice cubes if you let them. Kind of like goats. They climb to the moon if there's rocks that tall. Um, yeah. So anyway, once again, Nice. You drive for miles and miles on this lake. Hopefully we'll spin around. We'll spin around. 
think we just, yeah, look at that. Spinning. Look at that. We can do circles. Uh-huh. I'm going to go back. Yeah, if I, <laughs> he says if I do too many circles, Cindy, I'm going to make you sick. That's my mother-in-law. <laughs> I don't want to get my mother-in-law sick, so we'll stop doing circles. But, yep, yeah, there's the marina. Pretty nice. Rent slips, rent boats. Got a nice dock or a ramp. So, can't complain. That's all this one. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. This is uh, Long Shoal Marina. We actually went to this one yesterday and stopped and had a potty break and a chip and a drink break. But anyway, you can see everybody's out. There's another uh, marina. Here's an old dew. There's an old dew. Old, I don't know if it's a dew, but I think it's either way, it's an old one. We came through some rough water in the main channel just now, but it was fine. We made it. Brian skilled. <laughs> yep, there we are. There it is. They got another ramp here. There's a lot of timber in this lake. The lake is high, so it's actually dangerous right now because. Yeah, because they, they didn't clear out a lot of the forest when they made this lake back in 79, so there's a lot of timber. That's why it's such a good fishing lake. They left a lot of it. Hey, fellow doers, there's a sea dew spark. That's the first sea dew spark we have seen since we've been here. I like it. That's the uh, blue, white, and black one. And uh, if I was to get a spark, I like that one. They're not too bad. Those don't have all the luxuries. The seats ain't quite as comfortable as stuff. They're more for just running around and having tricks. But you know what? They're for whatever you want to do with them. As long as you're out on the water, that's all that really matters. It doesn't matter what you got. You know, get a paddle and a piece of styrofoam. You know, whatever it takes. Just get out and enjoy it, guys. Because this is what life's about. Getting out there and enjoying this great earth we're on all kinds of cool stuff to do this lake is way more crowded today i don't know if you guys can see but just panning around here there's a lot more boats but it's it's the first nice day from start to finish it looks like on the holiday weekend so that's awesome mostly it was fishing boats and pontoons up until now but there's a lot more recreation boats out today but it doesn't have all the cabin cruisers like the lake of the ozarks and that's what really makes the water rough is those giant cabin cruisers. They're cool and all, but makes it tough on the little guys. Hey guys, um, we're back. We're up in the uh, Grand Arm. Um, I think about the mile marker 10. We're gonna head up to the last marina here on mile marker 24, so that's a good 14 miles down, but this arm is fairly calm. I really like it. We came from that direction down there, and then we're gonna head over that direction there. And I'm gonna go ahead, and since it's nice and smooth, we're gonna do sport mode. We haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna do a launch in sport mode. I'm gonna we show you. It. We, haven't shown it. we haven't shown it. I'm trying to show you the dash. So if you see the dash, when you turn on sport mode, it tells you to hold on tight, and you're gonna see why here in a second. Sport mode, increased acceleration, instruct passengers to hold on tight. Okay, we're in sport mode. You holding on tight, Pastor? The rope's all up? All right, guys. Here we go.
that was the brakes guys we got brakes on this thing you can slow down quick but we got it up to 50 i'm not going to push it too hard we're still in our break-in mode but uh yeah sport mode's fun saints fun but sport mode's real fun thanks for watching hey there so it's sunday so and i just rem we're sitting here at sonic that's where we came for dinner but I just, spot. Yeah, <laughs> I just realized it's Sunday, so I'm going to wrap the vlog up for the week. And um, so while we're sitting here with good internet, maybe we'll get shakes and then I'll see if I can get this vlog. I'm not sure. No promises, but we'll see. So if you see it on a Sunday or if you see it uploaded on a Sunday, it worked. If you don't, <laughs> I had to wait till I got home. But anyway, thank you so much for spending the week with us. And see you again next week.